What's good, y'all? It's your boy Jay Brock. Just clap it up, LA, right here on No Line, No Shine. We're we'll chopping big game with the youth, man. And, you know, it's very valuable stuff. So I hope y'all tuned in. I'm looking for oh, my boy, what? Icon. Icon Don. Okay. Icon Don. Okay, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Icon Don was calling me. Okay. Waiting on my boy, Icon Don. What's good with y'all? Appreciate y'all tapping in. Icon, what's going on with you, bro? Icon, right? Yeah, right. Icon, Don. Okay, man, what makes you an icon, man? Uh, just the way that I play and how I can just help people. Okay, okay. Now, how old are you? I am 10 and going to be 11. Oh, okay. So when you turn 11, man? I'm, I'll be 11 on July 22nd. Okay, okay. Well, shoot. Happy early birthday to you, man. You got a birthday coming up. That's big time. Now, how long have you been playing football? I've been playing football for five to six years. Five to six years. So, you've been playing football since you're about four or five years old. All right. Okay, okay. Now, how much do you like playing football, man? I like playing football a lot. Really? What do you What do you enjoy most about playing football? Yeah. I like that it's a contact sport, and I can meet people on the way. Okay, gotcha. Once again, y'all, clap it up in late with no line, no shine. I'm right here with my boy, Icon Don. He said he an icon, y'all. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned to this. Now, when you're playing football, what are some of the things that you want to be able to do when you step on that football field? I want to, I want to be able to have fun. Mm-hmm. And try my best. Trying, trying, trying your best is one hundred percent the best thing ever. You know why? Yeah. If you don't try your best, we often look back yeah. at the moments we don't try our best, and we'd be like, "Man, what if? What if? What if? What if?" So make sure you always give it your best every time you step on that field. So, what position do you play? I play. I play guard. Mm -hmm. and, and tackle and defensive tackle. Okay, you play guard, tackle, and defensive tackle. Which one is your favorite position yeah. to play? Uh, my, my favorite are offensive tackle, I mean, right tackle, and deep tackle. Okay, what makes right tackle so special to you? Because it's the power side of the line. Oh, okay. Yo, you want to be on the power side. Okay. Strong man, huh? <laughs> Once again, y'all, let's clap it up. LA with no line, no shine. I'm right here with my boy, Icon Don. So y'all know y'all need to be tuned in. My boy said, I'm an icon. I, I feel that, bro. I feel that all the way. Now, when you're playing on the right side, do you do, you do, you do pulling assignments? Right. What do you like about pulling on people, man? You like ear holding people and taking them out the game and being the meanest person on the field? Uh, yeah, but not really. What? Well, why, why don't you want to be the meanest person on a, fo on a football field, man? I don't want to be a mean person. Well, when you get on a football field, you got to be mean, bro. If you're not being mean, somebody going to be meaner than you, and they're going to dog you out. You know what I'm saying? You ever, you, ever went up, you ever went up against somebody, and they were really tough for you to go up against? Yeah. So... Did you get meaner or did you just let them run all over you? Meaner. That's what exactly. You can be as nice as you want to in life. Be nice. When you get on that football field, you got to be mean, bro. You got to be tough because if you're not, somebody else is going to show you that they're tougher than you. You ain't going to like how they feel. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you got to make sure you always prepare. So uh what team do you So where are you at? Are you in California? Where where are you? I am in Georgia, and I'm playing with Falcons United Gold 10U. Okay, Falcons United Gold 10U. You out in Georgia, man. That's big time out there. What do you like about um, when you when you were actually able to line up? Do you like anything about playing defensive tackle? Hey. Uh, I love Zach and Zach, the quarterback, and help, and help my offense get the ball back. That's right. That's right. Now you got a Rams jersey on, and you in Atlanta. What's going on, man? You a Rams fan? You got a Falcons fan? I'm a Falcons and Rams fan. 
Oh man, what makes you a Rams fan, man? Because of Aaron Donald and also Jalen Ramsey. Okay, so what do you like about Jalen Ramsey? Uh, the same reason why I like Aaron Donald because they're both explosive players. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. So do you feel like being an explosive player is something that, that, that you want to become? Yes. What do you think would make you more of an explosive player? Me being able to get through the line faster and me being, me being able to work on my strength so I can help people out the way. That's right. And guess what? If you want to be explosive, you got to be mean. It's no way. It's no way you can be explosive and be nice. If you be nice, you can't be explosive, man. You got to be mean. You got to have it up here. You ain't got to be, you know, evil, but you got to be mean enough to be like, I'm getting through this hole and you ain't going to stop me. You know what I'm saying? Make a whole lot of sense, don't it? <laughs> yes. Make a whole lot of sense. Don't I, I get it. Now, what have you, have you been able to win a championship? Uh, only one. One. Okay, how did that one championship feel to you? It felt really good. Mm hmm Why is that? Because I never really won one, and me just being there set a new goal for me to, to be even better. That's right. That's right. You got to be better. One thing you got to focus on when you're playing this game is making sure that you get better every single day. You got to get better every single year. See, one thing I didn't really understand was that I had to get better when I was playing football. I always thought that I was just good naturally and I would just be okay naturally. But you got to put in that work on the off season. Like, How often would you say that you work out um, as far as football goes during the off season? Do you work out? Yeah, I work out with my dad a lot. Okay. Okay, that's really good then. And look, one thing you got to understand too, like I know if you watch Aaron Donald's Instagram or you watch, you, you look at the Instagrams? No, not really, sometimes. Okay, but if you do watch Aaron Donald's or Jalen Ramsey's Instagram, they never stop working out. So you working out with your dad on the off season, bro, that'll put you ahead of a lot of people because guess what? It's a lot of kids just like you. They're not working out. They playing Madden. They playing 2K, Fortnite. When you out there working out, that's what gives you the advantage to help you become better than everybody. That's what you want to be, right? Right. That's okay. So look, never stop working out. And then one, one thing, one thing I, one thing I remember about playing football was that when you stop, you don't work out no more. Then you got to go to practice. You got to get back in shape again. That's that's tough, ain't it? But you got to do all that running. Got to get way back in shape again. That stuff is tough. So make sure you keep up with that. Now. Um, what has been your favorite moment that you've had in your football career? My favorite moment was when it was overtime and I got the game winning sack. What? Y'all went into overtime? Woo, that had to be a long game, wasn't it? Yeah. Man, so you got the game winning sack. Do you remember? Break that play down. What happened on that play? You had to be mean, huh? You had to be mean to go get it, huh? Yeah. That's right. Now, now, now. Okay, now, when that play happened, what happened on that play? How did you get that sack? Uh, I did my favorite move, the swim move, and I got back. At, got back to the quarterback fast enough for me to sack him. Ah, okay. So the swim move is your favorite move on the D line. Why is that your favorite move? Who did you learn that from? Uh, my dad really just. My dad taught me. How to do basically all the moves that I really know. Mm -hmm. Okay. See. Yeah. Go ahead. Go and ahead. My coach, and my coaches taught me how to use them. Okay. You know what? The swim move was actually the first move I learned playing football. When I learned that swim move, it worked magic for me, bro. Because I came from not playing to being a starter, all because I learned that swim move. That's a beautiful move right there, man. You make sure you perfect that. Now, when you got that game winning sack, how did you feel when you got that sack? I felt really excited. At first, I did not know what went on. <laughs> <laughs> Why you? <laughs> it didn't feel real. You know, it didn't. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Once again, y'all.
It's clapping up LA. It's no line, no shine. I'm right here with my boy Icon Don. I can't I can't say it enough. He's an icon, y'all. And y'all know he get we chopping this good game. Um now after that game went and sack, how much time did you spend thinking about that? Like, man, I got the game with a sack. Every day. <laughs> Every day. That's right. Now, do you feel like what would you say is your ultimate goal you feel me, when you're playing football? What's your ultimate goal out there? Uh, uh, every practice, uh, every game, I uh, I can't hear you. I, you went. You, you went mute. What happened? Hey, my goal. Every practice. Yeah. My goal is every practice to. Yeah. Best and yeah. same through every game. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very important, especially at practices. A lot of players don't really like to practice that hard. Like us as players, we kind of want to walk around at practice. When you go hard at practice, that makes you that much better. Because everybody else not going hard at practice. So if you're the one doing it, you know what I'm saying? You have no choice. Now, um, so you said you, you, you are 10 years old. Yes. Okay. And then next year, where y'all y'all practicing and everything yet? Uh, yes, we are practicing mm -hmm. from from Monday to Thursday. Okay, okay. How does it feel to be back? You know, did y'all get to play last year because of the COVID thing? Uh, yes. Oh, y'all did. Okay, see, in California, they kind of shut everything down. Nobody got to play. So the fact y'all got to play, that's really good. So. You know, how does it feel to be back out there? And, and, and what's your goals for the season? Uh, it feels great to get on the field and for the season or try to get a lot of sacks, help my team, and for me to get better and my team to help me and oh. my best. Okay, that's good. Now, when you would you say football is something that you love to do? Football is something I r really love to do. Mm -hmm. And how? And how do you? When did you realize that that football was what you love? When did you realize that? Uh, on my second, um, on my second day of practice with <laughs> North Carolina Tigers d down here in Georgia. Ah, okay. So was it like? Was it a hard practice? Was it an easy practice? What is it? You know what happened? It it was kind of. Closer to a hard practice. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, that's good that you said it was a hard practice because, you know, the thing I say to everybody, like if football is what you love, you got to understand that you're going to have to make it through the hard practices. You're going you're gonna to have to make it through the competitions. You got to love what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? Like one thing people got to understand about life is when you get – when you, you – you're going to work hard. You know what I'm saying? You have to work hard in life. It's just the way life goes. But if you're going to work hard, at least make it something that you love. So for you to love football, it's going to be hard. And guess what? You got to get mean. But guess what? You can be as successful as you want to be in the game of football, in life, however it is. But go hard at it and don't quit when it gets tough. So let me ask you this, man. What does no line, no shine mean to you? Well, the line, no shine means if the line wasn't, if the line wasn't there – the skill guy would just be playing catch. Ah, you said the skill guy. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. Never forget the value, man. You get you bringing value to your team, and you can make it as big as you want to be as long as you're willing to put in that work. Once again, y'all, let's clap it up and let your boy Jay Brock right here with my with my guy Icon the Don. You feel me? On no line, no shine. Hey, y'all. So we gonna get up out of here. Nice meeting you, bro. Good luck to you. Remember, go hard every single day. All right, now. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thank you. All right.